My name's Ian and a warm welcome to my shed and a warm day it is too. That's a beautiful blue sky, isn't it? This vid's been a while in the making before Christmas and with the first second of April today I was contacted by company King Bowling but things didn't work, quite work out with the emails and it's taken a while to get the product but I was sent a an item to review I think this could be an unlikely scrapper's tool obviously it's meant for mechanics and uh, I think we'll dive straight into it see if it'll help me out see if it'll help me make money so we're in the shed and without much ado we've got this parcel now I know what it is because my good friend and fellow YouTube creator YouTuber star Mick Moores of the Moores channel reviewed exact same product a short while ago but without ado we will We'll pull that. Oh, there we go. A little strip there. We'll get into the product. And it is a battery analyzer. Like I said, King Boland sent, uh, contacted me before Christmas about this. Uh, I did have problems with my car battery prior to Christmas in the cold weather. And they did say to me at that time, we have a product that might be able to help you. Well, I, unfortunately, like I say, uh, their emails went into my junk box. It was never seen, blah, blah, blah. But it's finally here. But that got me thinking, yeah, what else can I use it for? Well, there's destructions on the back. They're in, uh, Pretty plain English, so uh, I've picked up a scrap battery only the other day. The guy said it was a good battery. Now we want to say, well, if it's a good battery, why is it throwing it away? And there's a couple of reasons that can happen. One, they've changed. They bought a battery for the car. They've had it on for a short while and then they decided to change the car and people decide, oh, well, I've just paid a load of money for a good battery. I'm keeping it and they'll put something else on, sell the car. Then they knock it around the garage for a while. They realise they don't really have a use for it. And then they get shook. Oh, it could be knackered. And that's why they've got shook. We won't know. So I have picked up only this week so that's very fortuitous that i get this device this uh battery car battery 12 volt car battery but is it a good one i don't know i think that this product from king bowling should tell me now i said an unlikely scrappers tool because should this show that this is a good battery and it's obviously got a resale value at the moment. Scrap batteries are fetching between 550, 600 pounds a ton. Metric ton, that's kilograms. So, if it's a good battery, I should be able to sell it on as a good battery. So let's, uh, without a doubt, turn the camera around and let's test it. Now you're going to see this in real life as I do it. I haven't read the instructions, but it can't be difficult, can it? You know, red to positive, black to negative. It's always, I always go negative first and positive second. Straight away we've got some lights come on let's put it over my shoulder right you're seeing this as i do it because i ain't done nothing before right uh okay cca cold cranking amps 
reading this back to front tells me it, and 70 cold cranking amps so we have to up or down now it's going to be up or down up change it to 670 cramp cranking amps bang on and we press okay that's not going to sink Boom, it's a poor battery. Well, there we go. I answered that one, didn't it? Right, I think let's go and test it on my own car, eh? Shall we? So we're, uh, again, let's just stick that on there. Boom, we're straight away we've got uh, some things. It's self. Uh, self-detecting self-detecting in saying that it's a 12 volt battery uh, so you can change the voltage anyway with the up and down buttons so we chose the 12 volt we press ok we know this is a 740 cranking amp battery because it's a big diesel And okay, this better turn out as uh, 713 and it says it's a good battery. Well, there we go. I didn't expect anything less. This seems to like, does what it says on the tin. Right. All right, so that's giving me my cold cranking amp per uh, Charges. Now I've not used the car for a couple of days, so the charge is probably a little bit low. Right now, you can do uh, voltage 12.43, so good voltage. You can do status of health, status of charge, and the internal resistance 3.73. We'll compare that to the poor battery I've got. Uh, status of charge 71% like I said I haven't used the car for a couple of days and only been for a short run so probably need to go for a long run somewhere status of health 88% right let's go back to the one in the garage now I'm back here in the shed and we'll go on this poor battery so negative to negative, positive, to positive. We'll go through the setup again. Uh, six seventy amps. We know it's going to come up poor. Correct. But if we go to press again, we will go to. Voltage, 6.2 volts, that's all it's holding at the moment. So half the voltage it should be. Uh, the resistance, look at that. 2,110 milliohms. Uh, the one on my good battery, what was that? Uh, two or three? So that this battery is probably shorted across the uh, terminals at the bottom. And press it against for state of charge, zero. Right. Status of health, zero, SOH. Do you know what? I'm going to stick this on charge for a bit, see if it makes a difference. But before we do that, We picked up two other batteries. New, 11th of the 3rd, 22. So, just just a year old. What is that? These 
That is still a 12 volt battery, so that should pick that up easily. So I'll just stick that on there. Stick that on there. Look at this charge, look at this. Okay. There's no way I'm going to say this has got cold cranking amps. C20, is that cold cranking amps? It's not that type of battery. So we'll lower it down. And it can only go as low as 100, but we'll click on that. And it's going to come up with... Poor. Well, that doesn't really mean anything to me because it's not a battery for turning over cars. It's holding 12.92 volts, so that sh should tell me it's a good battery. Milliohm resistance, 1196. That I'd have to Google that. State of charge, 98%. So that's 98% charged. State of health, zero. So that is probably... A poor battery. Let's try this one. And a good connection. There. Put that in between so they don't short each other out. And we're not even getting a reading. So that one is definitely a scrap battery. Wow. Right, well I do have this smart charger. I've just connected up to the terminals. Red to positive, black to negative. Tells me it's flat. So we will switch on. And we're on normal charge and boom we've gone up to full charging out of the machine i can stick it on f uh, fast charge that should go brighter and it did so we're going to leave that for a short while see if we can pump some power into that and we'll give it another test with this king bowling battery tester like i say that could be an unlikely scrapper's tool okay folks well it's a number of hours later and we've had this on charge well at least four hours at minimum four hours and we're not quite lit on the okay so that's a 60 percent charge so let's stick on the king bowling battery charger uh we'll do it the other way this time Life. Right, we got it lit. Okay, uh, I've got to go up to back. What was it? Six seventy. We're repeating ourselves, I know, but uh, that's close enough. Okay. And the truth is, after four hours charging, it's still a poor battery. So. Got up to 11.76 volts though. You remember it was only 6.2 volts earlier. But how much will it hold that charge? That's the interesting part. The That's come down dramatically, the uh, milli or ohm resistance. It was over 2,200. Now it's 524. But state of charge, zero. That's the truth there, isn't it? Oh, the it? truth is there. That battery is knackered. You know, I've just wasted electric. That's all I've done. But, an unlikely scrapper's tool. You've got one of these, all similar. And, I will put a link in the description because the company, although they, you know, I'm doing this as a promotional video for them, uh, putting a discount uh for the for april and there's a code in there which you could use if you was interested 
uh, it does what it says on the tin. You know, it tests batteries and tells you if they're any good or not. I said, an unlikely scrapper's tool. Pick a battery up, got a tool like that. Is it any good or is it just straight for scrap? Right, Ian in his shed. I hope you enjoyed that video. It was uh, enlightening for me. I've wasted a load of electricity. That's all I've done. Uh, see you all in the next one. Take care now. Well, hello again. Although we'd finished that video the very day after I was out and about on my travels and... I picked up this stir lift system. There's more of it in the shed. So it, it was it's very heavy, very unwieldy and cumbersome. So I've decided to strip it down so I can get it in the garage. And what should fall out but two 12 volt batteries. So why don't we just test them with a King Bowling? battery tester that I've just been reviewing. Well, that didn't work because neither of these two have enough charging to even light up uh, a battery tester. Oh well. <laughs>